Yeah, this this sure is a thing, isn't it? I forgot about this. Welcome back to Odin Sphere. How long has it been, anyway? Six months. By the way, this uh, this chapter's commentary is brought to you by a longtime stream friend, Atlaworks. Oh yeah, hi. I'm a person. I got to become here for the plot this time. Yeah. To understand, the last four have pretty much just been disconnected. One one involved fairies, we kind of gloss over that one. The rest were pretty okay, but none of it was really connected. Yeah, they were all basically character studies. Now we're going to see the actual, um, story. On the bright side, all of them kind of involved Odin being a dick. I mean, even in the source material, Odin was kind of a huge jerk. That's why it makes it so good, though. Yeah, it's it's wildly, um, away Accurate? from this. It's far away, yet still insanely accurate. Also, this this dumb scene. Cornelius. Well, we haven't He's seen Cornelius like this in a long so time, tightly. have we? And we will never again. Forgive me. Twice in the I story. Help but keep you close. But soon I must depart. My how do you? Father awaits. How do you get those yellow ribbons on your biceps? Can you meet me here again? I, I assume these just waiting. come with the sleeves. Your promise gives me strength. Tis but a temporary separation. Well, I'm gonna go become a fucking rabbit now, see ya. Well, I've got a date with a curse, excuse me. Actually, speaking of the curse... Hey kids, it's Liam O'Brien! <laughs> I haven't made that joke you? three other times in the LP. Have you been there? It's okay, no one remembers Must when you did I anyway. Turn him into a frog to make you give him up? That's what they call a callback, kids. Wake up, Velvet. He is a prince. We are but vagabonds. Wait, would that be a callback or poetic Your irony? amounts to nothing. Yes. <laughs> you need not be jealous, so, Ingwe. If 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 we're just like King paupers here, blood we've got entourage with a fucking wizard. You are the last living heirs. Well, and again, you just you pointed out, yeah, you are in fact royalty. Silence. They are royalty of Scalded, nothing, though. Tell Urza that Still, it's just all about blood, right? Plans. I mean, I guess. I... And again, I, I need to point out, a wizard entourage. You have to have a level of prestige to have a wizard king, entourage. Eh? Or they could be plotting something. So they want us bastards conceived in treachery, linked to our grandfather's bloody throne? I think not. Please don't talk about our mother that way. Velvet. It would seem you have forgotten. I've never noticed this, but Ingley kind of leans a little bit backwards. Oh yeah, he does that. No, he always looks like have. he always looks like he has now, one arm. This once again. One is always on like the dagger hilts, but it just looks like they kind of highlighted him and then hit Control I. It's, just, it's perfectly and hidden in all angles, is the thing. Death shall be unleashed I am upon curious about something. Does this suffer from the uh, Street Fighter II thing of they just kind of flip the, the model? Wished death upon us. I understand Vanillaware usually doesn't do that, but... They did. They did. We the dagger's on the other side. I just saw Yeah, <laughs> I'd see that now, too. Just have uh, to give this some credit, too. Had we not abandoned her, that crazed king I think this was when they were well. in their um, bankruptcy I phase, so I'm not surprised. Oh, this is very much when they're in their bankruptcy phase. This is the thing they had to do to avoid the bankruptcy. Yeah. Out of, like, that doesn't five. Mean that the curse she has predicted will come true. But this was the big one. Oh, can you see the I can't unsee it now. I'm seeing the like dagger slot places. It's hilarious to me. It's just, a very, it's just on a very sorry, loose belt. Spoke he turns too quickly to slip right to the other side. Go. Hold on to this. I tire so, of the thing that guilt trips me. Speaking of, is, did he just carry around like a prophecy of his own doom at all times? <laughs> well, yeah, because it's a it's a quote unquote memento of their My mother. Dear children, Why would you carry that memento or not? Curse. curse and death shall be thrown upon the two of you. Mother. I'm gonna go burn this now. But now you get to carry it. Oh, well, we've actually heard about the cauldron already. I like how both of these kids have not even acknowledged the last one. Like that. Yeah, last they don't one. even care about that part apparently. So yes, for me, I'm just kind of I'm kind of wavering between not knowing if I'm spoiling something and not knowing if it's already been talked about because it's been six months. Oh, like, I don't worry about spoilers in this LP because, um, not only have I streamed the game, but, like, this is an old-ass game, it's been, like, over ten years, and, uh, this is a challenge run. We're not here for the plot. I provide the Fair plot enough. for those that are curious, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't like Velvet's combat. I'm not a huge fan. See, the thing is, here's again, again, I need to rinse up to the before. 
When I played this game myself, it was the original version. This is way better. It is way better, but it still feels clunky in some ways. Like, there's... Let's see, I can see why it feels clunky for you, because you just got off of Oswald's story when you play this, normally. And uh, he's really a fast rushdown character, right? Yeah. Velva is not a fast rushdown character. She is... She's meant to be distance aggro. Also, yeah, I... she's, she's, she's a mid-range character. You don't want to be as far back as the fairy, but you want to still be not close to them. So, fun fact for that tutorial, it took me four times to S-rank that. Three of them because my ca old capture card kept fucking up. I seek an answer from you. <laughs> and then I booted up again and I... Time, is it? <laughs> well, I booted the game up again this time and I had to redo the tutorial twice because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Turns out you just gotta mash X. And lose that Kicking off that rust, huh? Yeah. I have stopped gazing into the future. I am of King Valentine's bloodline. I don't care. I had heard that you were close to the royal family. I'm still mad about things and stuff. Sheep. Actually, this is this is the one that sees the future. This is the angry one. The angry one is the one that's got the broken neck. Yeah, this one's actually chill. He just doesn't really give a fuck anymore. This one is just done with everything. So you are velvet. I have had visions of your arrival. I guess this is the time. If you knew I was coming, then you know why I am here. As your mother said, That's always the weird thing about prophesizers. Is it prophesizers? I to don't know the word offhand. Oracles? Yeah. Uh, the thing no that I feel bad for this one, because like every person who comes up to him just wants to kill him, it seems like. Ends, yeah. The world is sealed. One gets killed, you know one gets fate, enslaved, and one gets mad. You know That's that how the dragons work. To my death. Yeah, dragons have a very tragic yes, history in this game. It's, it's, right. It sucks. Please tell it's not me that it's tragic, it's just there aren't many left, but one is just everything constantly mad about everything, so you can see why people would kind of give a wide berth normally. I have nothing more to add. The path to take will be indicated by your mentor. My mentor? Death cannot be avoided, but fate can be redirected. Are you suggesting destiny can be changed? Yeah, just do a parry. Parry fate. Guidance. That'd be a really you cool concept for a game, actually. Serve my purpose. How would that even work? Until, as the prophecy states, I assume a one-hit kill attack gets parried repeatedly. It's like volleyball, life. but the volleyball <gasps> just kills you. Ah, oh, so you're just describing Lethal League. Got it. Deny fate if you wish. A little bit. That is your duty in your demise. Hmm. You shall visit here once more. At that time, my friend. You really oh, call so him a friend? you say? At that time, a dragon will be very mad at you. Now, please go. My own end draws near. Even Actually, I didn't kill him. What? You didn't kill him? Well, yeah, but you watched him die. I'm mad at you. Please do not interfere with my slumber. I feel like this scene would have been way better if, like, af like if it just showed Velvet walking out, and then, like, a few seconds later, Oswald walks in, and then they fade it's like to a three-second frame, and then pan. Oswald comes and just stabs him in the face. Yeah, basically. I forgot to remove the save data. Oh, well. Now here's the great part, we start in Puka Village, so we could just eat out the gate, if we had money. I also don't remember how to talk to people. Why do you start in Puka Village? That's a good question. It's it's the uh, Val it's the uh, Neo-Valentine headquarters. She effectively operates out here. Yeah, but again, these are these are rabbit people. Yeah, it's, it's her, uh, how was the word I'm looking for? Everyone needs to believe. That you and Ingwe are the only subjects or kingdom? The of yeah, this is her kingdom and subjects. They are just cursed. Then why is it a problem if Cornelius turns into a polka? Princess Velvet, have you been studying? This is I think the Cornelius thing was that he perceived history. the fact that Velvet would not like love him anymore, but that's like entirely the opposite. But she hangs case. out with rabbits all day. Apparently, that's where she lives. Our exceptional skills in magic and technology flourished, and we prospered. Becoming an affluent wow, nation. even the even the, the NPCs that are old man age, rabbits are giving us a lot of exposition today. Yeah, this is the plot after all. I know, this is this is really is the plot chapter. Like 
I made a joke about it earlier, but I just realized now how much of it is actually just exposition everywhere, and it's kind of a weird time to do it, because, yeah. I mean, Princess, this is the last character I'm chapter before the final money. one, and they just dump all the These plot days, on you at once I here. It would have been interesting in the if they did it, like, one chapter is specifically something like this, and then just spurst out. So you had a reason to be like, okay, I, ha I gotta do... I gotta do Mercedes' chapter so we could get that plot facet. But no, Mercedes' story is just, you know, daughter becomes queen and doesn't learn a single lesson. The worst princess. Another worst Disney princess out of many. But that said, the, the main issue is, again, that they, I can see where they're trying to do kind of a timeline hops around sort of thing, a la Siren. But the problem is that What's one that? character has all of the plot. Was Siren released about this time? No, no, so I was before this As man. We have discussed okay, before, so that makes some there sense. There are several prophecies about this land. All of them refer to the end of the world. <laughs> Jesus, by kind of a dour people, aren't you? A monster, Does everybody fire, know about the end of the world? Because I think this has been talked about in every country. Titania, Ringford... Uh, everyone just keeps talking about the world's going to end. And I were taught about you ever hear... You know that uh, saying that if something is spoken of a lot, it's just going to happen? Princess yeah. I the, wonder why the world's gonna because you got a whole world full of nihilists over here. Like, if you just stop talking about the end of the world, maybe Master it won't Queen. end. I don't know. You were talking about maybe something else, like baguettes or something? Fake. Oh, they hey, Wizard. Are you ready to watch to old men fight? Scalding. Yeah. Is this an acquaintance of yours? This is like the funniest argue to me. Before I can I never not laugh when I see this. this land. The prophecies regarding this area were already ancient. They are more accurate than the tales coming from less enlightened nations. How dare you insinuate that my country's wisdom is fallacious! King I'm old, but I'm a patriot. Country, Titania listed these prophecies in an epic poem. My country is better! The can be found in these <laughs> verses. And where are these poems? I would like to see them. The you want to read those poems, Princess? Those are heretic poems. Are one section has been passed by word of The mouth. moment you said However, that, my brain went straight to Final Fantasy Tactics. You, know not the words, tis best you heard Heretic and you thought of that game. It's gonna leave that- it's gonna be stuck in your mind forever now. Honesty. Yeah. If you continue your folly, you will never find the answer you His seek. poems were- were assembled in a book a known as the Germanic All Scriptures. Is a fight. But did you read them? Oh, no. I feel dizzy. <sighs> be careful. <laughs> He's blood. just trolling him so <laughs> hard. <laughs> Don't get mad, you're gonna have a stroke. And he's just like, knowledge. I can't believe I've been owned so hard. Well. Bye. <laughs> Master. There's nothing funnier than old men that arguing. That wasn't nice, Scaldi. <laughs> that I was mean. The truth. <laughs> Tis fact that the songs <laughs> like this game is well written from like a um, literary standpoint, but when you dilute it like this, it's a Holy very King Weirdly simple island. dialogue. Kind of it is. But... is held prisoner in it, it's a good story that has not the best hmm. dialogue. You once said you are able to not go to bad, the but world. I mean, Cornelius does have a magic sword after all. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I, I forgot about that line. Shit. I'd like to know the truth. If the epic poems tell of destruction, he already said they tell of destruction. I shall take you there. The whole thing they're about. To you. But well, it is rumored to be tales of destruction. They don't fish, know that yet. First Everything's about hawk. destruction nowadays. It's the Wait, it's something that want? it's the new hip thing all the kids do. Oh, the request of one as old as I is but a trifle. I ask for a single book. If I can borrow the book of transformation. That is a book of magic scribed by my grandfather. Tis my kingdom. Oh yeah, pro tip you're never gonna see it that book. Mine to give. Yeah. I only asked to borrow it for a short time. I just I realized, see. I think this wizard's design well, is meant to have, like, the little snaggle teeth at the bottom of his jaw, lights. like, connect with his nose. Why would you think that? It, because it happens. What? So. Who can bite their own nose, Hiawang? That wizard, clearly. But yeah, we're starting our first chapter in the underworld. It's almost, Ooh. uh, it's almost... Feels like it was intentional, since Cornelius had to do the same thing. Well, also because her sister Gwendolyn, her last chapter is in the netherworld. Yeah. So... What's this about bookends, you say? See, 
Yeah, besides you getting your butt kicked, actually Velvet's style of fighting looks really fun to me and as, a, as an observer. It's pretty good. Like, when, when you mention it, you're pretty right. You're pretty much 100% spot in that after going to Oswald, doing this is like getting, is just like getting kicked in the shin. It's serviceable and it's way better than her original style, which was jump in the air and spam air attack until they're dead. Oh, I remember that. Oh, the, those were dark days. Those Halcyon days. That is the exact opposite of what they were. Yeah. So, um, as per my usual milieu, I'm probably going to go for um, attack power exclusively, but there are some choice skills that I like to upgrade. Of course. Dash attack. Yeah, see, dash. the thing I like about Velvet is, while well, you have to keep a middle distance every time, she's really a jack of all trades otherwise. As opposed to Cornelius, who, he's just, you know, a wall. Uh, Gwendolyn, she's all about rushing attacks and combos. And Oswald is about going apeshit on someone's face for about six seconds. Uh, Velvet's somewhere in the middle of all of those. Velvet's weird because she has a lot of abilities that emphasize other mechanics. Like, she has two skills that specifically um, promote alchemy. Yeah. No one else does that, which is actually kind of fascinating. So you're encouraged to throw bottles of Cyclone at things. Which is actually funny because Gwendolyn and I think someone else had Velvet as a boss, or yeah, Velvet as a boss fight. During yeah, the... and she'll do that. Yeah. She'll get those potions out on you. The, the game knows. I never realized how much horizontal distance you get from that uh, air attack. That's great. A lot of them, yeah. See, every time I see a character like this, I just think about how you want to hit with the red bits. You don't want to whip them with the chain, you just want to hit with the red. That is actually a uh, thing that they... That is one of her skills, is that you get more damage the um, the farther you are, farthest you are in your attack. So yeah, you're entirely correct. Yeah, just hit the sweet so you, you just... I take it from me telling the guy who's 100 percent in the yeah, heroic mode here, you're playing it wrong, but, you know... <laughs> I mean, at this point, it's the... The thing about this game is that you don't really need to quote-unquote min-max or, you know... <laughs> True style, your play style. You just need to get by. Just if you want to S rank everything, you just need to throw a whole bunch of cyclones at him. Oh yeah. Well, hurricanes, but. It's a weird glitch with my game. I don't know if it's just me, but for some odd reason, in the like starting the chapter, the wild rose meals will not tell me how much um, bosons they give out. I don't even remember there being wild rose meals. It's a new thing for uh, Leaf Drazir. Oh, that's nice. They circumvent this by giving you nowhere near as much rose meal in general. I've always wondered about something, and this will probably be a good thing to discuss with people when they uh, when I uh, re remake the thread. Um. Is it better to fully use a wild rose meal for planting stuff, or would it be better to just, like, plant a shitty thing like this and then absorb the foes on for yourself? I mean, it depends on the situation, more importantly, but I would probably prefer to use the foes on myself. I always go for the food, the because I like the levels. Levels are good, but then you gotta remember how often you're gonna use supers. Yeah, and also how I don't get HP from leveling up. Yeah, that's important too. It's not as important to level as it is for others. I think leveling still gives you attack power and some other stats. Yeah. Otherwise, what else? What, what would it be? What would it be doing otherwise? Giving you HP, like in some other games. If it's not giving you HP and it's not giving you stats, then why would you be leveling at all? Oh yeah, here's the thing about Velvet. Too. Here's the best part of Velvet: you swing. Yeah, they, I don't think they teach you that in the tutorial either. It's so weird. It's the thing you should be doing most is this character, really. It's it's kind of it's kind of the way she it, her preferred way to travel through maps like with Cornelius. King of swing. It kind of bugs me though because like I keep going up and I, I would just prefer it if I was you know sticking to the same elevation the whole way. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's really fun. The funny part is too. The funny part is too when you fight Velvet as a boss and she does a swing, you can block her out of it. You're perfect. <laughs> you are perfectly fine. Yeah. I have no reason to equip that, because I shouldn't be getting hit. Any port in a storm. Hey, is that King Valentine? Uh, no, he's missing a crown. Ah. He's just got a very similar skull. 
Every skeleton in um, Hell or the Underworld looks almost relatively the same. You're either these like shovel up little husks, or you're like the weirdly endowed green skeletons. Yeah, it's vanilla where everything is weirdly endowed. Can't wait for Aegis 13 when the robots will be weirdly endowed. I just I can't get over how all their skulls aren't human shaped. In, That's just me, I suppose. In Aegis 13 or this game? In this game, the the the, the King Valentine skulls. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, that is a little odd, isn't it? I never really thought of that, actually. Huh. I do like the new foreground, foreground and backgrounds in this game. Yeah, that's that's definitely a thing. Yeah, this seems like fertile soil for my mulberry seed. Yes. Well, with the bosons, all things are uh, fertile. Let me just plant some nice crops in this field of tentacles. Hey. Dead need to eat too. What? They're not dead, they're tentacles! I don't want to grow some weird tentacle mulberry, that sounds terrible. Become more likely to knock back foes with your next attack at. Oh, yeah, that's a skill I never use because I don't guard. Yeah, that would require you to guard first, exactly. Ah, my favorite boss. Ah, Oogie Boogie. This boss is actually a lot easier with Velvet because of her uh, main skill. Man, now I really feel like playing Guilty Gear. <laughs> I must be missing the Guilty Gear allegory, what is this? Uh, one of the characters uses a chain a lot like this, and one of his supers is to make the chain go up and down across stage like that anyway. Axel Low? Yeah, Okay. that's uh, the one. Well, not up and down, there's at least back when I was playing Midnight Carnival. One of his supers is to make them go absolutely freaking everywhere. And yeah. string up an enemy. So yeah, it reminds me a lot of that. Yeah, I, I, I know a lot about Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue despite rarely playing the games. I don't think I've ever played a Guilty Gear, actually. They're really good, you should. Eh, uh, I, I used to like fighting games, I've kind of grown out of them. Not a lot to say about the boss fight, though, just because since it's a, it's the, um... You can say you really badly timed that fire. Oh, the fire is actually pretty good. Like, that barrier actually stopped his projectile attack. Oh, true sure enough, but... I just wanted to stick to him, I guess. Yeah. Well, Oogie Boogie here is very mobile. He teleports a lot when he feels like he's in danger. And also, if you... Usually, if you... Hey, pop... look, you got a free blaze! Yeah, every single time you break an HP bar, they, uh... They give you a potion. Yep. It's entirely random between, um... Cooler, Blaze, Toxic, or... I want to say Volcano. So, everything's pretty good except for Cooler. Oh, did I say Cooler? I meant Cyclone. Okay, that's that's better. Yeah, Cyclone is the one they give you because that Cooler can become a. Uh, much in a boss fight. Yeah, Cyclone becomes Ice Spirits, and Ice Spirits has saved my entire ass this entire game. Yeah, that's one thing I do remember from the last six months: a lot of Ice Spirits. Yeah, I I'm friggin' dependent on those. And given Velvet's dependency on alchemy, I assume that those are stronger too. No, actually, they get you uh... more. They get you more grade, and um, they give certain benefits. But um, really, potions are just like. Her use of potions isn't different at all. You know what would be neat? Um, you ever play... Like, this is gonna sound weird just because of how the series has been lately. You ever play the original Atelier games? Did not play them, but I know of them. Like, the first two games had a neat mechanic where you play as an alchemist, and you can either make the potions beforehand and they'd be more powerful and you could stock them, or you could use them as, like, a battle skill in combat. Kind of wish that system was in this game. Like, it would make Velvet a lot more interesting if she could, if one of her skills was to just make Blaze. Yeah, but that would require work. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Save that one up. Well, uh, yeah, I was I was on the uh, cooldown for throwing a potion, but it's fine. I leveled up. I got a heal. It's kind of oh. funny how that becomes a tactic in fights. That was a cool. that was a really close S rank. That errant coin was bothering me greatly. <laughs> it's really hard to miss coins in this game, so don't worry. Ah, uh, good old local undead gardening. Well, see, there's, there's no tentacles here, at least. No, there's crystals, so we're gonna have a little bit of a mineral contamination here. 
I mean, that happens like 70% of all Final Fantasy worlds. You're probably fine. <laughs> this isn't Final Fantasy though. They love their crystals, and I have no idea why. It's it's a good. I think it's mainly due to um. Wasn't a. Uh, wasn't um. Oh, brain work. Wasn't an original Final Fantasy inspired from classic D and D, and they just kind of worked without yeah. the entire series. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, the Red Mage was supposed to be a bard. It was just their way of getting by. Uh, but yeah, huh? For, for instance, uh, I noticed that I lost my train of thought. Yeah, for, for, yeah, crystals. That's right. They really like crystals and they really like Latin. Yeah, yeah, Latin's a big thing, isn't it? It's so weird how we've gone from crystals why. and Latin to a prince's road trip across what thirty years. Yeah, that was weird. I haven't liked any of them since 9, because they all got weird. It was about 10 when they started making up their own dictionaries, and that was when I was done. Yeah. I, I wanted to like... I really wanted to like... What was it? 11, 12? The one with Balthier? I 12. really 12. I really wanted to like that one, but I got like 20 hours in, and I just said, I am bored out of my fucking mind. Well, yeah, playing Han Solo is a fun game, even if the game is bad. I mean, it's not bad, but it plays itself. Yeah, I think that was part of the reason, because I wasn't playing a video game. And again, most of the characters are terrible, except for Han Solo. And JRPG Chewie. I don't know, Bo um, Bosch was alright. Kind of, but didn't really get much screen time. I really do entertain the idea of Fran being JRPG Chewie, though that's, that's kind of... You crazy. and everybody else, because that's basically what it is. I remember seeing a chart before that shows all that shows like what kind of person are you if you like this Final Fantasy or 12 it just says you like Star Wars. This is the Japanese Wookiee. Got the worst part about doing um, this whole cha this whole uh, heroic mode run. If I touch that poison, I'm fucking dead. Is it really that bad? Um, the moment you touch it, instantly poison, and poison does a fair bit of damage. Don't you have antidotes? I do, but it also messes with your rank, and the S rank stipulation is not great. Ah, yeah. Oh. oh. Speaking of... It might be a chance, but I remember it being a problem with, um, I want to say... Gwendolyn when I first was here. Really? Gwendolyn's really easy to play, though. Yeah, but I noticed that she would get poisoned frequently if I ever touched the water. She's like the easy character to play, in fact. Yeah, her rework basically makes her um, Momohime from Muramasa. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Yeah, it's probably intentional, actually, not thinking about it. Yeah, because um, return players are going to go, Oh, hey, it plays like the game I played before. This is great. Yeah. Although, Momohime never really had a spear, but... Eh, the moveset's relatively the same. Can she blade draw? I mean, actually, she can. It's one of her supers, I believe. I think so, yeah, actually. I know Oswald gets a, gets the uh, draw on his burst, and he uses the exact same animations. I know, I saw that in the LP. Oh, look, you did know how to block. Also, uh, she's got a really cool block animation. Yeah, blo with this fight, blocking is really good because you kind of want to be up in his grill. It's, it's really good. Look at that. It's like a circle. Was there blocking in the, in the original game? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure there was. And yeah, blocking on this guy is really good because that skill that he just did, that's a great way to farm grade. Yep. I was... remember doing that. So for that, simple fight. Yeah, well, it seems like a good trick her moveset is about getting behind people too like that. Although, ah, uh, I remember this. The slow moving wall. The, the stank hand? Yeah. The thing is, you can tell the difference between the original bosses and like the ones made for the new game. Because this one still uses a lot of the old moves. Oh, yeah. And there's like this weird like design gap where the new bosses are a bit more fine tuned, while these ones are still the same. Yeah, they're just slightly reworked. I mean, all you still got a stank hand, everyone's gonna remember that. I think that's all the ranked fights. We just gotta do the, uh, we just gotta find the secret skill. Oh, yeah. See, I assume that Velvet's gonna be a really skill heavy character anyway. Yeah. Her skills are really good. Yeah, exactly. That's just the nature of the character. Considering how weak her actual attacks are, 
Oh, that was mean. Well, that's that's the secret. It says the light bearer holds the key, so you gotta yep. you gotta kill uh, King Valentine there. That was mean, wizard. But yeah. Now, see, the thing is, since her attacks are so individually weak and she's very positional based, you kind of got to imagine a lot of her supers are going to be really powerful in exchange. She's kind of the wizard of the game that way. I believe in episode two, I get one of my favorite skills for her, and it's really fucking good. Like I remember playing this, like, oh yeah, this skill. I forgot. How, I forgot how good it was. Shit. See, I get the feeling that by the last chapter, you're just going to be spamming skills with her for room, probably. Uh, it's really hard to spam skills in this game just because of how the power meter and, and uh, your yeah. MP meter I mean, work. To the best extent possible. Yeah. So what's today's prize? I believe this one's pretty good. If I ever click. I think I may have gotten a phone call here. Well, we'll be right back. I just realized... Velvet's got these tiny shoes on. Yeah. They're almost heels. Flare shot, yes. This is a good skill. Basically what it is, it's kind of like an Akuma fireball. And if you're on the ground, you automatically pop into the air and do it and do a backflip. Yeah, that's awesome. Sounds good. See, it's not even involving the chains. It's just wizardry. I think that's everything, but I still gotta walk there. You didn't, you didn't think to just cut this part of it? Eh, it's not too long a walk. Besides, we gotta see the art! We gotta see the art, Atla! I feel like there are things that shouldn't be said about this art. The thing that I'm remembering mostly is there's a lot of jangling. Like, I feel like you get really sick of that really fast. Um, yeah. When playing the... When I was recording those, not too bad because I typically have something on like a, like an LP or a podcast in the background. <laughs> Let me just not pay attention. Okay. I mean, it's the excuse I'll give to get away with saying I'm shit at the game. Here I am, terrible as heroic mode S rank percent run. I mean, granted, it's not like it's not like you did this in one shot or anything. But still, my tool assisted LP. Well, it, is, it has to be tool assisted when you're playing it. Man, habaneros are so are just not as useful in this game, and it's so weird. It's kind of a shame. I remember them being very useful. They would give you fire. They give you fire spirits, which in the original version of the game was another shield potion. Yeah, exactly. But a better shield potion. In this one, it's more proximal dot. Yeah. It sets you on fire. Like real hop and arrows. Alright. Time for this nonsense again. Ah, uh, King Gallon. Why did you oh, I don't know. <laughs> You're a wizard, King. Like that. Hey, King Gallon. I, I did borrow the book in question. I borrowed it. I took the liberty of doing it anyway. Regarding the curse of the Puka. As it stands. I cannot help your current situation. Then why did you help the pages were uh. removed. Ingwe must have interfered. There is not much time. If the queen catches us, she will not allow us to leave. And she will regale you with the her weird fascination with gore. Nearby. <laughs> Maybe I'll flay your skin over tea. I smell warm blood. Oh, hey, Galen. Do I sense live humans? Who is Galen's voice oh, actor? Hang king on a second. Of Titania. It is I. Be gone, you demons. Just IMDB I this game. Exactly. Your request. Great king. Although you do not wish it, we will one day Oh, uh, it's only the Japanese voice actor, what the heck? But our business today is different. Why do you want to release this guy anyway? Of greatest epic yeah, it's our king. End. We need our king after the all. The blood we have like pocket face. kings. I it. I am Pocket Princess Kings? Velvet. Is this like the a hot Valentine. new Pokemon sequel? His Not quite, but I can see that being a thing. I mean, she's dating a guy whose dad songs. is a king. Just say, Hey Cornelius, can your dad come with me for a while? I gotta do a I thing. I wish to oppose destiny and escape a curse that would cause my death. 
<laughs> also, I couldn't find anything on the voice actor because all the IMDb pages seem to be focused on uh, the Japanese cast, not America. Oh. So, he just coughed up a scroll and... Yeah, when you, the funny thing is when you if you've played this game and you think about what King Gallon is, it's amusing to just imagine him coughing up. I a know scroll. that's why I'm laughing because I'm I know he's just like Orc, Here's a scroll. She has come to torture us. Well, bye now. Silence, Gap. I do not recall allowing visitors into the prison. I never noticed how angry her back mood is. That wizard just fucking just he, he peaced out on you, man. Oh yeah. Never trust wizards. The memory of that name makes me furious. That criminal you all call the king. He stole my eye and crawled out onto the earth. What? Uh, what? My I don't remember that at all, actually. I don't know about the eye part, but he, there, he certainly got out of here. See, it would make sense if it was Odin that did the whole eye thing, but... Yeah, I didn't know King Valentine took the eye. I believe this is the clue to the big puzzle of the game. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The quote-unquote puzzle. Fiery the... The, the one. one! I can imagine if you like set this up for a tabletop game, people are going to like zero in on that and be like, This is the answer! The, the! <laughs> the Born Sleep Life Hall! Now, I, I forget... I don't remember too much having an issue with this, probably because I watched an LP before playing this for the first time myself, but like... Oh, did you people, tool. Did, did people have trouble with that when this first came out? I actually did. Huh. I mean, I got... You, you know, you gotta, you gotta mix and match the situation. I got most of them right, but one of them is misleading. I think I know which one you're talking about. One of them is incredibly misleading, and it's very sad. I believe it, it's the one of the clue regarding the prince, because there are two princes in this story. Yes, exactly that one. I got the wrong prince. I actually... I am. Well, shit. Let's see what Fire Spirits does. It's actually not great. You see those 10s and 11s? That's Fire yeah, Spirit. I, I know. Hey, it's, it's most damage over... It's, it's DPS, man. You gotta get all that in. Yeah, especially when she sends when she sends you the bone fence. <laughs> Need a fence, Queen Odette's here. The weird well, part is that she's I mean... surprisingly tame this fight. <laughs> Need to sell stolen goods, so Dad's got a fence. Oh my fucking god! What? That's that's really bad. I mean. I'm sorry, I was just thinking about the uh, sights gonna travel with you. I, I could have made a joke about her being a fencer as well. I tried to avoid that one. Ah, uh, these are the jokes! I mean, the all I can think about after saying it is that I recall there being a really old, like, Adam West era Batman villain who was the fencer, and his whole thing was being a play on words about the word fence. I don't, I don't think I've ever watched Adam West Batman, so I wouldn't know. It's pretty good. Now, the, the best part about boss fights is that they're not ranked, so I could be really bad at them and not give a shit. So you can just do specials in the wrong direction? Exactly! Because I'm not wasting time and there go not potentially using losing S rank. 100%! Hell yeah! Hmm, toxic. Are you gonna really throw a toxin potion at the Queen of the Dead? It works. Why? I really can't tell you, but damn, look at all that damage. This is kind of weird because I'm looking at all these ghouls up here and I'm just sitting there thinking, like, that's not what a ghoul is. I'm it's kind of wondering, there's just a habanero pepper sitting here in the middle of the of hell. That's not going to get picked up, by the way. Oh, no. Yeah, it's a good thing they're not ranked because you're getting wrecked. Yeah. That, that was a bad spot to be in. Like, Velvet has a good kit here because Dancing Chain, it, when done right, can actually actually trump all those ghosts. Man, I direction. keep missing. It's a good thing these guys are idiots, because they're not attacking me. Yeah, he got really lucky, I think. I mean, it's part of the brand. It kind of is, which is why I'm okay with it to a certain extent. 
I do like how the uh, these guys here, their chests become like big Holly skulls. We're completely surrounded. Well, oh, Holly showed up. Sorry. <laughs> took I thought you teleported minutes. away. We run after angering the queen. He only teleported so far. <sighs> Was this dimension That's... door? Yes. <laughs> oh, hey, it's that thing. Hey, boss. Where did you put that, Odin? I mistook you for my there is actually like a, there's actually a Lakitu up there that has it on a, like a fish hook. Because you'll see it right here. This man drove my mother mad. Come on, Odin. Creatures born of fragmented souls. You notice how it always drops in? Yeah, it just it you just tucked it in the air. You yeah, know, there's just like there's just like a little dude in the cloud there has it on like a fishing hook, and whenever Odin needs it, he just you lets it go. Never be forgiven. You have been warned, you fools. <laughs> just like we'll buy. You again, I can't do a thing to stop you, even though you're like a foot shorter than me. I shall decline from kissing your hand. But I shall restrain myself while You just court. murdered like two ghosts. They didn't murder How them, they, they they ran away. The crystals of the netherworld are quite useful. Okay, I I mentioned that old people fighting is the best I lied. Oh look, it's it's right back here. I'll restrain myself. Cannot Ten seconds later. Me. You can't defeat me. Come on, my own hand that finally nails your casket shut. Why would you kill the Queen of the Dead? That seems like a Do terrible thing. You will die That's what they call foreshadowing, kids. So Let's much for restraining perfect. yourself, dude. Well, it's Don't it's it's, it's his feet. daughter, so. Something must be wrong. If you have come to save me. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember Velvet's voice actor. I think it's uh, the chick that does Faye Valentine in Bebop. I want to say you're right, but I haven't checked the IMDb today. Well, it, it wouldn't tell you the right information, so whoops. So that girl is Odin's Shit, there goes my ride. I guess I gotta spam teleport some more. Well, bye. Remember how I said that Velvet should just do potions? This is just Blaze. <laughs> See, that's fine, dude. Just, just throw a Blaze out there. Next time, uh, more Velvet. I honestly don't remember the chapter. Yeah. Been a while. It, we're, we're running a little bit on, uh, on memory from this one. As far as I'm concerned, it's a new LP. We're actually doing plot after all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Part two of the LP. See you folks next time. Later. Alright. Should I just turn this off now, or...?